us a place that we have to take responsibility for our own actions. And sometimes we, we think if we do a little something or we get in our word a little bit more, it's just going to wipe everything away. David still loved God, but God still allowed the chastisement to come on him. God will love you and still whoop you. God will love you and still cause you to die. Oh, I'm talking about God. People like to say that in the church. Oh, God is a loving God. Yes, he is, but he's a God of wrath too. Yes, he Don't ever be afraid to surrender to God. So he can prove the things off your life. Yeah. You. Verse number 18, let's go back to 2 Samuel 12, 18 through 21. It says, On the seventh day the child died, and the servants of David were afraid to tell him that the child was dead. For they said, Behold, while the child was alive, that we spoke to him, and he did not listen to us. How then will we say that the child is dead, that he himself may harm, that he may do harm himself? So they was afraid. Because we spoke to him. Yeah. He didn't say that. Uh -huh. The child's dead. Mm -hmm. See, sometimes the situation be to die, mm -hmm. and, and, and the people that should say something ain't said nothing. Mm -hmm. But God give you discernment, give you the ability. Yeah. And David said the child's dead. Mm -hmm. They were scared to let him know he's dead. Yeah. They didn't know which way the king was gonna go. Oh, he and he banned somebody. Yeah. But yeah. sometimes we, we have to tell people yeah. that situation is dead. Yeah. It's gone. It's dead. Yeah. Let it go. Yeah. You, you, you can't heal them. Come on. You can't revive them. You can't transform them. Yeah. You have done all you can do. That's yeah. right. The prophet. Don't you think he loved his two sons, Eli? Yeah. And Eli loved his two sons? Yeah. He loved the sons. He warned them. But yet still, they had a mind of their own. Yes, they did. And one of the, the most precious people in your life, outside of your, your husband and your wife, is your own siblings. Yes. Your own daughter that you done birthed and, 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 and wiped the stuff, the, the birth from their mouth and, and they start crying with their little pink gums and, and they didn't even know nothing about the world. And you done birthed this child. Mm. And this child decided to go complete now. Mm. Oh, it hurts. It does. It hurts really bad. Yeah, it does. Because we all got aspirations and dreams, not just for ourselves, but for our children. We all want the best for our children. Nobody never wake up and say, I want my child to be an alcoholic. I want my child to be a crackhead. I hope my daughter be one of the biggest whoremongers in Orlando. Nobody never wakes up and say that. And if they do, then you better call Amen the mental health hospital. I want my son to, 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 to be nothing, to be worthless. I want my son to get every woman he know pregnant so I can have a bunch of grandkids, whether he married or not. Don't make no difference. I'm getting old, and I want him to have some grandbabies. No, no, no. Nobody says that. Everybody wants the best. Yeah. Even the thief wants the best for his situation. Why do you think he's breaking in the bank? Come on. That's right. Now, he, he shouldn't be stealing. But he still want the best for his situation. Yeah. He don't want to work for it. That's why he's stealing it. He still want the best. Uh, you ever seen the people on American Green? Look at some of their houses. They, they living over there in Pine Hill somewhere. Some little shotgun house with some big escalator in the front yard. No, if they go steal, they got a $1.4 million home sitting on the lake. Got a yacht. Come on, somebody. Got a cook in the kitchen. Oh, got pillows in the front. Got four, five cars. If they, they said, look, if, if I'm going to get caught and if I'm going to go out, I might want to buy the Bugatti. I might as well get the Maserati. I might as well come on somebody. I might as well go and get everything. Yes. Well, yes, I, might well. I might as well. Yeah. I might as well. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Send the wife to go have yeah. some and play this stuff. Amen. She wants some body work done. So he told them, don't worry about it. We got $50,000. They're going to they, they 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 change a few things for you. So she's 60, still looking like she's 22. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but these things, <laughs> it's time that we have to let it go. But David, one thing, when he got to a place in his life with this situation, and I can imagine what David went through mentally. 
But let me tell you how important the, your decisions are. Your decisions are more important than what you think they are. Oh, your advice is more important than what you think they are. Sometimes people are cohorts in, with sin. Well, I mean, you, you know, it ain't that bad. I mean, I, I, I mean you hate. We all see them. No, 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 no. They got a lifestyle. We have to call it what it is. Because you'll never read with a prophet. The prophet Nathan was scared to talk to David. He told him. Matter of fact, if you go back to the beginning part of the tape, remember he told him about the story of you lamb? Yes, he did. And David, they were ready to kill. They were ready to put. You know how we is. Oh man, you don't touch my brother when you take him. I don't understand why people take stuff off. But he was, he was, but you know how you pace to the floor. Oh man, where you at? Where you at? And he said, David, you the man. You the man. You want to pace to the floor from over here? You were ready to kill him. If you go back and look at the story, and he was he was talking about a rich man and a, and, and a poor man. You there, and David was ready to go get him until he found out it was him. See, sometimes we're ready to move until we find out it's me. It's, it's me. Mm -hmm. I gotta make a different decision. Okay. My decision calls this. And sometimes we don't we don't value the little decisions. We always put so much focus on the big decision, but it's the little decisions that lead up to the big decision yeah. that cause a whole matricular effect in your household that cause everything to start to diminish. And it's hard to rebound. Yes. Because sometimes we don't know when the next big blessing is coming. Okay. And sometimes we, we wait and we wait and we wait, and, 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 but we're neglecting the little things along the way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Amen, somebody. But one thing I like about David, in spite of his differences, in spite of the things he went through, he still consulted the Lord. So let me tell you, saints of God, sometimes we go through real things. Sometimes we made a little crazy decision. Sometimes we made another crazy decision. After the fact, we made another crazy decision. But in spite of all the crazy decisions, you may think that you have made. Seek God through it all. Seek Him through it all. God can still bring restoration. Because the Bible said, as we read to the end of the text, I'm still in the text, 2 Samuel chapter 12. And you read that the Bible said that David went back to Bathsheba, his wife. If you notice now that God had changed her from the wife of Uriah to David's wife. So God said he has blessed it and caused David to birth Solomon. God can bring a blessed out of mess. Yes, yeah. Isn't that something? Yeah. So don't think that your life is so in shadows. Don't think that your past is so stinking and so bad. Come on, somebody. God will use the manure of your past to fertilize your future. God will take some stinking stuff. Your name used to probably be sex and red. Amen, somebody. And you knew how to get your rent paid, but that's all right. I'm a prophet.
Amen. That's not wise. That's not wise. Amen. But we have to teach our brothers that, are, that, that, that may not have a good financial proof. We have to teach them, educate them, help them, talk to them. But don't drain your 401k trying to rescue somebody that ain't listening to your advice. But if they listen to your advice, then you'll check on one of them out of the while and you'll start seeing this situation turn. Amen. Because they heed it to the advice yes. that you're giving them. But sometimes people don't heed to nothing because all they want is what they want for the moment. But one thing I like about David, 